Green Lake's unique in two different ways. It's unique as a community and it's unique as a lake. It's unique as a community because Green Lake is the oldest resort community west of Niagara Falls. I guess the part that makes it most special to me is that I have so many positive memories. I started coming to Green Lake in 1953 with my family and have returned many, many times with my parents and with their friends and then later with my own family and my own children. Now that I live here permanently, uh, I've made a lot of good friends. You know, Mike and I are good friends and we have others in the community and so uh, Green Lake is special. What people have to realize is Green Lake is really a unique lake. It, it's not your run-of-the-mill lake. Green Lake has got volumes of intriguement. It's intrigued my family for over a hundred years, the fishing. As a barefoot kid, when I'd wake up in the morning, there'd be the, the boat houses to explore and the boat dock where there was probably a dozen employees. And then I would be watching um, for my father to come in, you know, and then I would see what he caught and then help him with like clean the boat up and things like that. I think the GLA is doing a lot of very positive things. Uh, we talk to a number of people and, and encourage them if they are not uh, GLA members to join GLA. I'm very happy with the Green Lake Association. I think they're a great organization that, that helps us enhance the lake. Mike and I, and maybe others as well, but uh, I think we consider ourselves uh, sort of like Johnny Appleseed or something. In other words, we're planting trees for the future. What we do in the way of trying to get more stocking of lake trout, to try to get rules about bag limits for Cisco, daily limits and bag limits for Cisco, uh, getting the lake restocked with uh, rainbow trout and brown trout. A lot of that we may not live to enjoy the benefits, but future generations will.